Hello, it's Ted. Welcome to my 8th 308 Task 2 video. It's been a while since my first one, as you can tell. But nonetheless, we're back for the Task 2 demonstration. Now on the screen there are four images. In the top left there's the raw red, green, blue input image of a video of pendulum swinging. In the top right there's the same image but converted to HSV colour space. In the bottom left there is the mask of the HSV image. So this is the HSV image, but I've filtered out everything that isn't the pendulum target colour, plus and minus a little bit of the threshold. And anything that is the target colour, plus and minus a little bit of the threshold, is painted white. So we're only going to get the end of the pendulum being identified by the white blob. That is a little bit inaccurate, but I'll talk about it in a minute. Now in the bottom left, bottom right even, there's the annotated video frame. So this is the same as the input video frame, but I've drawn on a circle to show where the pendulum target is, a dot to show the pivot, and X and Y displacement lines to show the displacement in the horizontal and vertical axis between the pivot and the centre of mass of the target. So I've hooked up this to play me, when I press X. So pressing X, you can see the pendulum swings forwards and backwards, the image is successfully masked from HSV colour space down into the mask in the bottom left. It can be noted that there is some misidentification of the edge of that cabinet in the middle of the screen. This, while could seem problematic, is a very small area compared to the area of the target. So when calculating the moment of the target, it very minimally impacts the target. And you can see in my report that that is the case. And so if you're running this hundreds or thousands of times, you may want to develop a more advanced model to either fine tune the color thresholds a bit further or to only focus on big blobs of identified material. But that's a bit too advanced, too complicated for this task. But the pendulum, as you can see now, is minimal swing. It slowly comes to a halt. And so that's my demonstration of the Task 2 video. I hope you're well, I hope you're safe, and see you next time.